Johnny Wilson and Jordan Travis were described to me today in Florida State's second spring scrimmage as a cheat code. I'm going to tell you about them and some other guys that you are absolutely going to want to hear about through this video. The Knolls completed their second spring scrimmage this morning, and we had eyes and ears, a couple of folks that we chatted with after the scrimmage. We're going to give you some of those news and notes, some of those things that may or may not be made public later on. But we want to tell you guys, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being members. Thank you for being subscribers. It is all very appreciated. Johnny Wilson was phenomenal, and he was unreal all day. Heard Jordan Travis also had a good day. We'll talk about him a little bit later. Uh, there was one time that Johnny Wilson went up and mossed Renardo Green. Um, it was really, really good coverage. Renardo had him kind of locked up, but not a lot you can do with 6667. Johnny looks incredibly comfortable. He is undoubtedly Florida State's number one wide receiver. I don't think I'm breaking any news there by saying that, but he looks that part. I think last year he kind of uh, grew into that role. This year, he very much knows that he's wide receiver one. And I think he's working toward trying to come off the draft board day one or day two. He's been really, really good this spring, and he had a great day today. Jordan played two or three series today. So for those concerned because he didn't play last week, not as much concern there. There was no injury, obviously. We told you that. Just wanted to get the younger guy reps in other videos. But Jordan did play two or three series today. He was absolutely on fire. He coached up the other quarterbacks pretty hard when he wasn't playing, like after his time had finished. In fact, I don't think he practiced for about the last hour of the scrimmage. And so he totally was in coach mode. Um, his mastery of the offense right now, not only when he's out there on the field, but also when he's off the field as almost a second coach, is pretty phenomenal. Um, he expects a lot out of that room. He expects a lot out of his teammates, and he's uh, he's doing a good job being another coach on the field. Uh, we're not going to go in order. These are just kind of how the notes came to me, so we're just rolling through it. We shared these with our Patreons earlier, so if you haven't signed up to be either a Patreon or a channel member, you could have gotten these notes. And I answered some questions on injuries, issues, concerns, guys that did practice, didn't practice, green jerseys. This, that, and the other. I answered that there. So you can be part of our Discord by signing up as a channel member or as a Patreon. It's like a few bucks a month. If you hate it and you, you don't like it, request a refund and I'll see what I can do for you. Um, Renardo Green, Jerry and Jones were your starting corners today in the scrimmage. It's pretty consistent with what we've heard. Fintrell Cypress wasn't just going to come in and just get a starting spot. Um, was going to need to go out and earn that. Um, but both Jones and Green were really, really good. Johnny got the best of Green on that one play, but uh, even that was really good coverage. And, you know, again, just not a lot you can do with that kind of size. Um, Jarring Jones looks really good. He'd made a big leap forward last year, and, and I think he's done a, a, a one up that, you know, made another leap forward this offseason as well. He's going to continue to improve, and they really like what they have in Renato Green. And again, I think that Cypress will end up getting a starting spot by the time things roll around, but it's going to be a really, really impressive rotation they have out there on the outside. Cypress, speaking of him, had a really nice interception of Duffy. Probably should have had one on Tate as well, but just out there making plays when he's doing it. He's quiet. He's not described to me as, as a Jalen Ramsey type that's going to be talking it up a ton and in everybody's face, but he's quiet, but he lets his play on the field really speak, and he's done a good job of that. Uh, quarterback should probably stop throwing his way. Uh, didn't hear about Jordan Travis throwing his way a lot, so maybe that's something he can coach the other guys up on a bit. Safety rotation, uh, looking like Dent, Brown, Jay, and Cooper. Obviously, Akeem, Shaheem, uh, Travis Jay, and Duke Cooper. Travis Jay flashed at times today. I heard he really made some plays. He really did some things that were impressive. I know that we've gotten tons and tons and tons of questions on him based on his rating and his athleticism coming out of high school. It sounds like he's had a really good day, and I, I think that um, he's put together some good practices. He's put together some good work, and hopefully that continues. I know that a lot of people question Travis Jay. Is, is he ever going to make a big impact? Where is he going to be? How is he going to fit into the rotation? And it does seem like um, he's getting more and more comfortable, and he is making more and more plays as things go along. Hey, spring game is in two weeks. We're doing a tailgate for it. If you want to, hit us up. We'll put a link to the tailgate tickets down in the description. It's on Eventbrite. You can get in and get about $40 worth of gift cards to local Tallahassee businesses if you come. So we'd love to have you. We'll have Guthrie's out there. We'll have a great time. 
one of our partners there. And if you're in Tallahassee for the spring game is Smoothie Times. The last time I was in town, I stopped by Smoothie Time. I got two smoothies because I can't just get one. So rise surprise, which is pineapple, mango, and orange juice. They've got Old Faithful. If you're not looking for something as tropical, as crazy, Old Faithful strawberry banana. I got a club on the croissant, which was phenomenal. My wife and I split it. I was mad that we ended up splitting it. They have a lunch special every day, 11 to 2 p.m., uh, 11 a.m., 2 p.m., half off a smoothie with the purchase of any sandwich. Their address is 1208 Capital Circle Southeast. They're in there next to the Beef O'Brady's in Tallahassee. If you go by Smoothie Time, they're working on some NIL deals right now with some of our players. They are phenomenal. Their food's great. Their smoothies are absolutely delicious. Go check them out. They are big FSU fans. We appreciate their support and their help on this channel. Uh, we told you this last week that Vendivarius Jacobs was taking a lot of punt return snaps. Uh, both he and Ja'Kai Douglas took a lot at punt return. Jacobs certainly got the most reps based on what I'm being told there. I think he is going to be your punt returner this year with the loss of Micah Pittman. I think that Jacobs is a very dynamic athlete that Florida State staff knows and wants to get into the rotation as much as they possibly can. It's going to be tough with how many wideouts they have and just his age. So getting him in there at punt returner with how dynamic of an athlete he is is going to be something I think this staff tries their very best to get done. Toa Philly was a beast today. He nearly busted off an 80-yard run, got tripped up a little early, only ended up going for 50s, only ended up going for 50. But he was really, really good today. I heard he was, like, it was described to me as he was balling. Uh, so really good stuff there from Lawrence Toa Philly. When the ones and ones went head-to-head, the offense won. When the twos and threes went head-to-head, the defense was taking it. Which I think makes sense. Florida State's offense is going to be top five in the country this year. They were top ten in the country last year. doesn't really shock me that Florida State's offense, which really didn't lose a lot, is the more dominant team. Um, the second string defensive line is absolutely insane. And even really when you get into like the third string, it's still really, really, really good. And that those units really kind of make it tough on the second and third string offense um, to even really get anything done. Hakeem went up for a huge pass reception early, actually dragged down by Azariah Thomas, uh, encouraging on both sides of the ball. Hakeem's getting in there, making plays, getting open, very athletic. Azariah Thomas understood that he could either give up 15 yards for the DPI or a huge gain or a touchdown on his side. So I'm excited and encouraged to see both of those guys. I think they're going to be stars for years at Florida State. So it's, it's fun to watch both of them uh, kind of go at it. And that was kind of a fun battle and kind of a everybody got up, ooh, and then, you know, was a little bit depressed that it ended up being a DPI. But something I think people really like to see and kind of a little flash at the future. Uh, Fitzgerald, not super sharp today. I heard he missed at least two or three kicks. Um, Keltner, the ETSU transfer was maybe slightly better, but he still wasn't great either. It's something that Florida State clearly needs to get cleaned up this year. They've got big aspirations, and in close games, that is going to be very, very important. Brock Glenn is somebody we've gotten a ton of questions about. Um, it was described to me this way. He uh, plays like a sophomore in a junior's body. He knows the offense pretty well for his short time in Tallahassee, but it's all kind of one-read stuff. Um, as he continues to develop and grow, that obviously will expand. Knows the offense well for how long he's been there. Uh, was in a green non-contact jersey today. Wasn't last week, so maybe it's something to note there. Trey Benson played a little bit more today. He had at least one run of 20 yards where he turned the corner and just looked like he was playing against UF. Great around the edge. He has been for a while, and so that's pretty impressive as always. Trey looked the absolute part of the running back one today. I heard standing next to other running backs, um, I'll just say shout-out to Coach Storms. He, he's he's really, really impressive. C.J. Campbell had a nice 30-plus yard run, absolutely shot out of a cannon and looked great out there at times. Florida State's running backs, again, we featured and talked about different ones. They were great today. I think, again, Toa Philly had a really nice day. Trey Benson didn't play a ton, ton more than last week, but he, he made some nice plays as well. Quindarius Jones made some nice plays. He's a young guy that I think got in there and mixed it up a little bit. We heard some good things about DeMarco Ward, another young guy that was in there making some plays, doing some things well. And so that's always encouraging to see when your young guys are getting in and making some of those type plays. Um, Tate, 
Seems like he's leaving the door open for AJ to pass him, but I'm not sure AJ did much this week to step up and take it. Uh, certainly not today in the scrimmage. Um, we'll continue to monitor that. We did a video on the quarterbacks, gave some predictions. I thought AJ was pretty sharp last week, but this week not as much. Something that we'll kind of keep an eye on, keep watching. All of the backups are being flushed out of the pocket pretty hard because the defensive line even on that second and third string, is pretty remarkable. And guys just can't get things done at times. Um, just overall, though, didn't think the backups had a great day. They were pretty average. Mike and Jordan were both frustrated with them uh, at times. Had to coach them up pretty hard. Um, but, you know, it, it is what it is, right? Like a second practice of spring, you're, you're talking backups. You're talking backups playing against very elite defensive lines. And, and if, you're, you know, if, if Duffy or um, Rotomaker were going with the ones – like they were last week, they probably make a few more plays because of the talent around them and the offensive line holding up a little bit better as well. Again, big takeaway with Jordan Travis. He was elite today. I'll, I'll, that's the word that was used to me. He was absolutely phenomenal, really, really good. And uh, I think that Jordan Travis, I, I spoke with somebody this week. He is very focused. He is very intentional. He knows what this season holds. He knows what the ceiling of this season is um and he, he really is working toward it so hey i you know quick news and notes nothing really earth shattering groundbreaking um no real major injury concerns or anything like that maybe maybe some nicks bruises here there some guys that did didn't practice we shared some more information than this and we will continue to share more information again in that discord so join the channel today if you need more insight on fsu again i think it's like three four bucks to join the channel you get access to the discord you can ask questions we reveal a little bit more information there and we're happy to kind of like talk through that with you there appreciate those that support comment below if you do have questions if we can answer them based on the sensitivity we certainly will give us a thumbs up if you appreciate the content and we will talk to you guys all soon we'll have a big week this week a lot of recruiting visits going on that we want to talk through and give you guys updates on um, Richie and I did what we believe to be our um, depth chart we'll do another one of those probably post spring game I don't know that we'll get one out between now and then I think that you know we kind of want to see what the spring game will look like I don't think much changes on my end based on you know what has gone on this last half a week since we um, did that video I also want to point out a glaring omission that we had we didn't list bless harris on that offensive line i just totally used the wrong pdf i believe he is going to start for the Knowles or be heavily in the mix to start so that's on me for for not shouting out bless harris on our last video um, do me a favor make sure you hit that thumbs up hit the comments join the channel if you need more insight or you need more scoop um, always happy to uh, bring you guys this type of content hopefully you guys are appreciating it We'll be back next uh, few days, I'm sure, with another video. Until then, we will talk to you guys soon. Go Knowles. And if you missed any of our recent content, I'll go ahead and link that above. On the either side, you can click that and check it out.